up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. And today I do have a merch review for you. This is the brand new Proplica that just came out and I finally decided to open the box even though it shipped to me like a month ago. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get my knife out because I have been so excited to check this thing out. I mean it has been just sitting there for a long time and I've been so busy. Oh man, I can't even tell you, so much drama. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing out of the box so we can get right into this review. So I ordered this item from Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, it was a very fair price, which was wonderful. Okay, so here's the Proplica that I wanted to review today. So this is the Transformation Brooch and Disguise Pen Set. So this one actually is the only one that comes with two different components. These both work together too, kind of like the Sailor Uranus and Neptune Proplicas that I recently reviewed as well. So on the front of this, we have really, really pretty art of the two Proplicas side by side. There's also the 25th anniversary badge for Sailor Moon at the top. It says Proplica in the Proplica logo. And at the bottom, of course, we have a toy sticker, Tamashi Nations and Bandai logos as well. And there is a brand new Tamashi Nations quality sticker too, which is their brand sticker. I like that the writing on here is slightly embossed and it's rainbowy holographic, which is really, really pretty. The side of this box says display with moon stick, and I can't read the rest because it's in kanji, uh, but it has a nice silhouette of Sailor Moon, original Sailor Moon, and it also has a little image showing that you can display this with your moon stick too. So the display with the moon stick will set in correctly with the display of the transformation brooch and disguise pens. The top and the bottom of the box both say Proplica in that same rainbow holographic color, which is really pretty. And the other side of the box has a little image that says transformation brooch and disguise pen set. It's also written in Japanese. I could probably read that top part because it's not not very much of it is written in kanji, but still kind of hard to read right on camera for you. I'll have to use Google Translate. But it does have four steps written here, and I believe that those are likely the four steps that show you like the different things you can do with it, stating that it does interact together as opposed to being completely separate proplicas that just happen to be in the same box. All right, and the back of it, you can tell this is the international version because it does have the choking hazard sticker on there. And it does say it takes five LL44 batteries. That is a lot of batteries, probably because there's two components. So let's go ahead and pop this open so we can see what this Proplica looks like. Now I have not done much research on this thing. I generally don't because I like y'all to experience it with me. Okay, so we get a little piece of paper. Um, on the back of it, it does have a disclaimer that's like, hey, changes or modifications might happen. FCC rules, we. So there's a bunch of stickers on the back of it for the international version. The inside of this is, oh, it's not all written in Japanese. That's good. Um, there is an English part to it, which is great. So I can read that and understand what the heck is going on. So I do like this brochure because it does have that really pretty art of Sailor Moon transforming. So you get an idea of what this is supposed to be all about. And then on the inside, we get a little bit of information about the product. It looks like it has classic art of the original transformation brooch and pen. And there's also some promotional pictures that we previously had seen online about it. The backside shows you how to use the Proplicas together, how to put them on their display, how to install the batteries, where your buttons are, and it tells you which sounds you can expect based on how many presses you press down on the buttons. Uh, it also says you have to hold it within about 30 centimeters. However, I know from Sailor Tortilla's YouTube channel that you can hold it pretty far away and it will still work, which is wonderful. Okay, so I'll probably come back to that piece of paper so I can actually learn how to use this. What's that for? This little teeny tiny yellow piece. I don't know what that's for. I'm gonna have to look it up and find out. Okay, there's three different pieces. I'm guessing this is for the pen, this little teeny tiny piece of plastic. This is where you would put your transformation brooch. And then this is likely to hold up the pen, but I'm not really sure. I'm gonna have to see where I can plug that in at. Oh, never mind. 
It's for the transformation bridge. Haha, -ha, I knew that. It appears I am putting it in the right way. Luckily, there's usually only one way that these things clip connect into each other, which is great. Okay, so this is what the stand looks like once you put it all together. There's a bottom part lo that looks kind of like a crescent moon. Then there is the main stand that has the transformation brooch at the top, and that's two different connection pieces. And this is where you would lay your transformation pen. Now both the pen and the transformation brooch come in this protective plastic. Now I wonder if these also have batteries already installed in them. It would be nice if they do. I like it when batteries come in the things. Well, I found the buttons. I know where the buttons are. <laughs> what about you? Oh, there's a button on the front. Seems really nice. Is this an actual pen? Oh, it's an actual pen, you guys. I can actually write with this thing. That's hilarious. How do I, oh, there we go, okay. Oh good, there's already batteries in it. So I can just take out the piece of paper to activate the batteries on this guy. This one is the one that takes two LR44 batteries, the transformation pen, and to turn it on, oh, it's already on, look at that. Can you see the red light? Ha, huh, cool. So all I had to do was activate the battery, it seems. Awesome. Okay, so that is on. Okay, and now I can turn this one on somehow. Okay, so that weird little yellow thing is just supposed to connect down here to keep it there. I st I'm still not sure what it's for. Oh, maybe it's to help you open the transformation bridge. I'm gonna try it. Hey, I think it's working. <laughs> Ooh, okay, there we go. Ugh. I don't like opening proplicas. I always feel like I'm going to break it, but this one did open, thank God. Um, let's see here. It can only go back on one way, which is good. This one has the three LR44 batteries on the inside of it. And then... I found the on button! That's pretty loud. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put that back on so we can start to playing with this. I'm actually kind of glad they included this now that I understand, I, I'm assuming it's to pry open the back of your transformation brooch because it's kind of hard to do without it. So I am going to keep it on the bottom of this where it's supposed to go just so I don't lose it because I would worry if I was gonna end up losing it. So. Now that we have both of those activated and turned on, how do these work? There is the crystal, which is the pink button, and there is the sound switch, which is the crescent moon on the front of the transformation brooch. The disguise pen only has one button on the middle on that little gold strap, and this is the disguise switch. The crystal lights up when this switch is pressed. The crystal, which they are referring to in here, is the top crystal, the little red crystal at the top. Now it does say that on the inside of here there is a reset switch. That's probably because these two are paired together. So after changing batteries and when there is any malfunction, please remove the pen shaft cover and make sure to press this switch using a thin stick. That's what it says. And then of course there is the pen. If you twist and lower the part of the pen, uh, the pen point comes up. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the ink cannot be refilled and you have to remove the cover on the tip of the pen when you use it for the first time. And the tip is basically just wax that is covering it. Now, as you notice, the transformation brooch does have two different modes and that is either a higher volume or a lower volume. I just noticed mine has a teeny tiny nick in the paint on the front, but hopefully it's not that noticeable. Eee, why do they always get nicks? The big yellow button on the back is the mode switch, and let me see how many modes there are. There are three modes, modes A, B, and C. In order to use this, there are the mode A, which is transformation sound, mode B, which is appearance sound, and mode C, which is battle sound. If you press it twice, you get light and voice for transformation appearance and battle sounds. So for transformation mode, mode A, Ooh, it lights up a bunch of different colors. That's cool. Ooh. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Look at it glow! Cinnabon. 
Okay, I love that. That was a great. Oh my god! <laughs> this is awesome. So this must be transformation mode. Okay, I f hey. love proplicas. They're so fun. Okay, let's move on to... This is appearance sound. This is so cool. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I love that. This one is battle sound. This is Battle Sound with voice. That's so pretty. I love that the middle LED lights up in so many different colors whenever they're doing the different sequences. So for transformation, it makes sense that it goes through a bunch of different pinkish colors, like pink hues, light pink and hot pink, and it goes to this really natural colored pink. And then you have battle sequence, which has a whole bunch of like yellows, like her tiara. So that's really nice that they included that. So now we are going to move on to the transformation pen right here and see how this activates with the transformation brooch. <laughs> so in this case, you're supposed to set this on the stand and then use this from far away. So it also says that if you don't press any switches, the transformation brooch will shift to sleep mode. If you press the sound switch or mode selection switch, it will restart again. So if I press this, now the infrared sensor on this one is directly at the very top in the red crystal. So I think I'm doing something wrong because it's not working. Okay, y'all. So it took me like 30 minutes to figure it out because I was trying to do this in my hand and it wasn't working. And then as soon as I set it in the display, it started working. I'm not sure why that is. There it goes. Okay, so you have to like set it back so that the transformation switch is pressed in, I guess, but then you can actually use it with the transformation pen. That took me way too long to figure out. Where's her voice? Okay, so in order for her to actually say something, you have to hold down on the crescent moon until you hear her giggle, and that turns on the voice. Yeah. Cute. What is she saying?
So she says, musician, doctor, photographer, princess, bride, sailor, and reporter. Okay, I think <laughs> I think we've already heard all the rest of them, so I'll go ahead and put this down where it's supposed to go. So that's what it looks like when you put everything together. And this also works with the moonstick stand too. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the moonstick while that goes back to sleep. So this should be shaped perfectly to fit with the moonstick. And it is perfectly shaped to fit with the moonstick. So I'll set this down and show you a close up of how they fit together. But this little crescent moon does fit inside this crescent moon. So they will fit together and this is what the whole display looks like when you have it all together. Very, very pretty, very complimentary I would say, and gorgeous. So I'm quite happy that I purchased both of these proplicas together. Yay! Oops! Crap! As I break things. Oh, and also I figured out that the little gold switch thing is to actually pry out your batteries. So it's supposed to make your batteries a little bit easier to take out. So that is everything with the transformation brooch and disguise pen proplica set. Let me know if you have any questions about how to use these or anything else you would like to know about them down below in the comments. I always read those and I really appreciate everybody who comments below and tells me everything that you like about these videos or anything that you don't like as well. Thank you so much for subscribing as usual. And again, my name is Sailor Snubs. I will see you next time. Janay!